Hey guys, how's it going? It's Beat on here. Welcome back to another Throne and Liberty guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get free and easy Lucent by using the auction house. Guys, I'm going to be honest. I thought the auction house was not going to work. I thought people are going to only want rare items, but I've been selling like blue items and it's really easy and it's really quick to do. You just have to have the right items. So what you want to do is go to the armor crafter, whether it's blue or purple. It depends on what weapon you want to get rid of, but regardless of the rarity, you need to make a lithograph. What changes is obviously the amount of items you're going to need. If it's for a wep piece of armor, you're going to want to have to get that rare Stalin. Um, if it's for a weapon, you want to have rare rubrics, as well as the enchanted ink. Now, all the items are usually dropped within the world, especially within the dungeons. So if you have the Abyssal Contract tokens that are in the top right corner of your screen, it kind of looks like a little devil head, you can max out at 20,000 of those. When you have them, you can go into the dungeons and farm, and the enemies will be dropping the materials that you need. But when it comes to ink, I have not had that dropped. But what I've been doing is going to the contract coin merchant and buying them she sells 50 a week but then again if you don't want to use your coins on that you can also go to the shop and you can use your ornate coins which you can see I have 2551 and you can buy up to a monthly stock of a hundred and it's only five ornate coins ornate coins are given by looking at those books that have like the purple hue as well as you get some ornate coins through uh, checking your mail and other other ways in the game but anyways guys once you have the items you need you are going to grab the weapon that you want to sell and then you are also going to click and add the uh, the rare lithograph as well once you have that in stock you can create a blueprint which will look like this and then once you have that blueprint you're able to then go into the auction house and once you're in the auction house all you go is to the sale tab and then you're going to click on your blueprint and then you're going to notice there's some numbers there's the highest sale price there's the average and then there's the lowest if you want to sell it really quick i recommend going just a few coins under the lowest sale price you don't want to shortchange yourself but at the same time you don't want your item sitting in the auction house for too long as you only get a two-day maximum i believe so the person selling it for 350 is going to be waiting a while so i'm going to set it to 35 and then all you simply do is hit accept accept again and then you wait for it to register which takes no time and now your item is up for sale usually within a day it's it sells and you can see here that a lot of the items I've been selling are just rare I thought for sure it was only going to be super rare items but everything I've put up there has sold I've sold um, traits I've sold a lot of blue armor and I have a purple one there and you've noticed that the prices that it was on sale for are different than what my profit is. That is because there is a tax. So if you look, it says tax rate 22%. So the tax rate changes depending on what server someone is buying your items from. Okay, so you can never expect to get the full sale price. There's always going to be a tax. So anyways, guys, if this video helped, let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and like always, let me know what you thought of the video, and I will see you guys shortly. Take it easy and enjoy Throne and Liberty.